happened? Jonathan got kicked out. And I got beat up and I got knocked down. Just... Yeah, where where did they take him? I don't know sure. Okay, okay. Where where was he kidnapped from? Next to the post. And what what was the per what did the people look like? I don't I don't know. But how do you know he was kidnapped? He's gone. I can, I can, they put him back on my face. And you, and they, so you got you got beaten up. You said. See, and he's okay. gone, and it's it's almost sundown. Okay. Oh, I don't know okay. how long it's Manuel? been. Manuel, we need we need to breathe. Okay, we need to calm down before we have this conversation. Okay. See, see. So take a deep breath. One in. <sighs> No, no, okay. Deep one. Come on, deep one in. <laughs> oh my goodness. And deep one out. <laughs> we gotta calm down if we want to figure this out, okay? I see. Okay. Let's get that all out. <laughs> oh. Okay. oh no. <laughs> <laughs> for a second over to the side. Sorry? Can I speak to you for a second Hi. over to the side so I don't disturb them? Um, there was a gentleman who questioned me yesterday when I shot a lady in self-defense. I forgot his name though, and I brought him some chocolate milks. Do you recall, do you know, would you be able to know who would be on duty yesterday around this time? No, can you describe them? I really can't. I really want to. I guess I'm just going to keep coming back with the milk until I find him. I sorry. I I mean, without a description, I, I can't. Yeah, hear. I don't give you much. It's okay. I just didn't know if we could figure out like who talked talk to me specifically at a certain times. Uh, I I don't I, can. I, I I could. No, it's okay. I don't. I this this. I don't want to trouble you too much. What's, I just if it was name? easy. Clint Brimshaw. I, uh, I'm the milks man, and you just ask around, hey, was did anybody talk to the milks man? He'll know what you're talking about, because I'm right. Clint uh, Brimshaw, well, the milk man. I, I probably won't actually be able to ask around about that. I've got, you know, a lot of stuff to handle during the day. Well, you might yeah. just have to wait till you see this particular deputy around. Well, since. if anything, you can tell your sister, tell your brother, tell your father, tell your mother that I got milk fresh from the other lake, no other. Clint Brimshaw, the milkman, can deliver milk all over the man hand, fresh milk from hand to hand, right. faster than any other Thank milkman you. can. And by the way, would you like any chocolate milk? Because it's fresh, almost 20 minutes old from the farm. Thank you, but uh, no. Uh, no thank oh, you. I mean, it's just good chocolate milk, mama. I'm just telling you. I, I believe you. All right. Well, go take care of that gentleman. He seems to be hysterical. Uh -huh. And I will talk to you later, ma'am. Right. Clint Brimshaw, milkman. <laughs> and then I wake up the bag in my head and I look around and I ask you for Jonathan he's not there okay they, they so, ran all over here they, they what I came all the way down here for Saint Socorro I okay can't... okay so you were standing there in Manzanita Post sharpening your knives and talking to Jonathan about his time in Sisica. <laughs> oh, and all of a sudden, everything went black. Do you remember any sounds, any voices, anything that could have could have made scary, any... Scary voices. Or like, okay. Like, like, chupa, the chupacabra. It's like, it's like, uh, like gargling and strange sounds. Uh, Gargly. It sounds like it was like someone was talking, but I didn't understand it. But they was in Spanish, so not at all. They they were speaking in Spanish? No, not even Spanish. Oh, they were speaking in English. Okay. No, but they, they had like speak, a. They were speaking like some weird language. Oh, so they were they were <sighs> speaking something you couldn't understand, and it was no, was it like a. No. Yes. I didn't understand at all. He was the okay. same one. Um and it was was it like um was it was it like the voices were all very deep? Some of them. Some of them were, deep. were they're giggly. Okay. The other one was all deep. The other one sounds like a gorgle. Uh, so 
Okay. And then everything went black. So <laughs> you didn't get any descriptions or anything like that. Um, no, all I heard was Jonathan screaming. And Jonathan said, no, not them. He right said, let, me go, go, some let food. me go. That's all I heard. It was went black because they were beating me up. Okay. All right. And you woke up with a bag on your head. See? Do you remember where you woke up? The Man City to Post. Okay, so they didn't move you anywhere. They just they just put a bag over your head. Okay. Let's see. Do you know anyone who might be um, angry at Jonathan right now? I'm not sure. Ma mm. Huh? Do you know anything about... Um, he mentioned another gout the other day to me. You were there, I think. Is there another another gout... Uh, what's, what's, what's the gal? You, so you remember the cannibal that uh, um, we found when uh, he was all burned? See, you were there that day. See, um, we their last name was ourselves. Gout. That their their name was um, their last name was Gout, and oh, they were see. Jacob Gout's son. Um, the other day, Jonathan mentioned another person by the last name Gout. Do you know anything at all about maybe where they normally are in tall trees? In tall trees, that's all I know. Shit, okay. Um, is there anyone in your group that might know more specific locations? Just Jonathan and Cucamonga Kid. Or Jojo. I'm not sure, right? Okay. All this is all new. A cannibal. That's all, okay. I hear them every night. I hear the screaming. The far distance. All scary. right. All right. All right. All right. So, do you know if Kukamanga or Jojo are around right now? I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Well, what we'll do is um, we will get you some medical treatment because you look pretty banged up there. So we'll have a doctor see you, and <laughs> from there we'll go ahead. We'll take a look around Manzanita and see if we can find anybody. Okay. See. All right. We'll find him. Okay. See. Okay. Okay. All right. Let's get you over to the medical office. Manuel. I wish I was there to protect him. She literally sounds like a Disney princess. But, it's ridiculous. You know, that's just something that's ridiculous. <clears throat> I genuinely wonder if I could talk like that if I tried. Hey, Master. No. Master oh. Debooms. Yeah, she, she, have, uh, have you seen Boyd? No. Do you know Hi, anywhere Royal. that he might be? Why? <laughs> I. Just, I I think he's uh, really, really, really not good. What do you mean by that? Eliza Kerrigan is currently fighting for her life in that tent, and I think the rest of the Kerrigans are poking at Boyd for who he is now. And I think it set him off. The last thing I saw was he rolled off towards Keep your branch. voice down a little bit. Darn. That's all I know. I... What do you mean by set him off? I don't know, he just disappeared, and everyone kept asking me if he had clocked on Judy, and I said no. Wait, was and... he around earlier today? Yeah, when I first came to Blackwater, he was standing at the tent with Aurora and Toby and Bo, looking over Eliza, and then he just vanished, and now nobody knows where he is. He just killed this cut his head off. No, I don't know where he is, I haven't seen him. Since okay. last night, okay. I'm just, uh, I know this just is... worried. That's all. I am worried too. No, no, it's okay. uh, I need to stay here and make sure that something doesn't happen to Kaniklo. But uh, people went looking in the usual spots earlier. Even Weaver did, and they couldn't find yes, him. So I, I don't know. I okay. Just thought I'd let you know as well. Oh. Thank you. It's okay. Office, 
<laughs> We're gonna vest vet ops, and I saw a couple poolies last week. Such unique looking dogs. They're so cute. They're so nice. What colors were they at Stousy? Uh, I have a black one. I really want a mascofaco or a like face mask one. A gold with black mask. Like my cashew. I wonder if a uh, bitter rabbit is killing off Eliza cause, uh, because Dren doesn't plan on bringing Danny back. I wonder if that's why. Or it could just be she wants to have her in... I bet, I bet she's not going to kill her off. She's just going to have her in long recovery while she's doing uh, deputy stuff. Wow, this horse is freakishly fast. Uh, Cash had his badge. The bay frame Creole. Good, you're not so distracted that you aren't still thinking about the orange. <laughs> You need to calm down. Is everyone just being really quiet? Are people able to hear me?
fantastic. That's what I get for walking away. Coming back. hate it so much man I cannot wait till they figure out a way to fix this it's, and it's it's not a wild thing it's a CFX thing Parasite was it doing anything to Connor when I was grabbing him <sighs> not at all I sure hope so. Because it does have a lot of new hype. I mean, even if, if... Apparently no pixel is planning on releasing a Red Dead server in a few weeks. And there's some people that are seriously concerned that it'll take away a lot of the players from the server and people will panic and leave and stuff. I mean, I don't think so, given the culture that no pixel is known for it's different than the culture here and that people want to play in so i don't think that's really a threat i think if anything it'll just lead to more people collaborating and working on getting the game going like if they have a huge audience for no pixel and then the people who work on no pixel uh contribute to cfx that might actually help uh yeah, that might actually just help speed along development uh, in terms of like the bubbling and, and stuff like that. Yeah, no pixels a lot more loose. People still want more serious RP here. Yeah, so I think, you know, probably we'll lose, we'll probably lose some of the really big no pixel streamers. But, you know, I don't think, like the server was great before we had the big no pixel servers or streamers. So I don't think, you know, lots of bummer if people leave and storylines get dropped. I don't think that's a bad thing. I think that the server will be fine. <coughs> and it could be, it could be that no one likes the way the no pixel one works. Sob says he feels so spoiled here. <laughs> Can any of you hear me? See me? No one can see or hear her. 
Nah, that's just like her every day. No, no, I've never been seen by a bear. Howdy. Wait, you can see me? I can see you. <sighs> oh, no, I can hear Thorn. Okay. Alright. It was too dusty. Thorn is unrelated. What? Did you see the outside of the office? I the bullet Didn't... holes? Y yeah, I'm trying I, to figure out what's to going on. Toby did that. Oh, okay. Uh, Do you know why? Uh, I, because he's angry. I already arrested him for it. Oh, okay. What's he angry about? Uh, Eliza Kerrigan. But what does that have to do with us? Uh, that's misplaced anger because, uh, ah, okay. because Boyd is a deputy and apparently she was drinking a lot and part of it was because he wasn't even responding to her telegrams or something like that. That's what he gave me. So he's blaming me and blaming Boyd, blaming the department for ostracizing the ranch stuff like that so he decided to shoot up the front of the sheriff's mm. office. He got charged with disruption of government property and with uh, okay. unlawful discharge. So he's already been uh, he's already been processed for that. Okay, good. Um, you haven't been in contact with Boyd recently, have you? Not since last night, no. Okay. Where did he, did he telegram you or did you speak? Uh, did you hear someone, uh, I heard I someone so. scream. I did not, no. Well, usually your threats aren't just, you know, words, Jack. What? I heard someone scream. I was threatening, wasn't I? You were. All the fancy words that you try and use to dance around just outright saying what you you, you want to do, what you plan to do. You're real nervous on the job. It's been a long day. I think you grazed me here. You're not going to help. Lucille's busy, I can help. What's going on here? I just shot Jack. No. Jack. Give me some bandages. Maybe you gotta give me a little uh, bit more than that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I just shot Jack. He's just standing there. I need to go grab a stew. Do you need anything? Uh, I could use a stew too. Alright, I'll go grab a couple stews. Thanks. Ain't that against the law what just happened? Your deputies are a little bit testy. My deputies? No, I think you have that wrong. I don't think they cut out for this type of work. Well, I'm sorry you feel that way. They just shot a unarmed man. Without a gun in his hand. But no. sorry. <laughs> <laughs> That's mud. I'm gonna walk all right way right now. <laughs> Can everybody just calm down for one moment, please. <laughs> oh. Holy hell. Ah. Uh, let's see what happened. Oh, there's Boyd. I can pretend. Boyd. Boyd, can you hear me? Yeah, I hear you. Okay. Uh, there's a lot of people looking for you. Uh, they're concerned. Uh, about? I'm just, McCarthy was here saying that they, they were worried that the ranch was getting here or something like that. I, I don't know. What? I don't know. I just, I'm telling you what people have been coming up to me and saying. Okay, where is McCarthy? Uh, I think she walked back towards the sheriff's office. Um, uh, here. Uh, uh, right. Holloway is right there, though. Maybe you can speak with him. Oh, all right. Uh, there we go. I'll be at the office then, if he wants to come see me. All right. With me. Not 
don't know no, if I, I explained it. I want you to do it. It did look like you he was going to draw, but I was banking on the fact that he would uh, not be as stupid you to do that in front of the quick. entire <laughs> law department. Don't be so hesitant to help him, too. And a bunch of witnesses to try to gun After somebody all, down. Your job. So, uh. By the way. I was right, and he did the finger guns, and, uh, and he got shot. See how forgiving I am? He is the one that yelled draw. No, he got what he deserved. I, I was gonna say, that sounds completely justified to me. He was a known violent criminal. Man, he's acting like that. Is he giving her a hard time in there? Um, what happened? Oh, crap. Um... Kalman was being an idiot, basically, and he got shot for it. He was acting really threatening. Kettleman was trying to stand me down, and basically he was hovering his hand over his weapon the entire time, being threatening, you know, Kettleman things. And McCarthy ended up taking a shot. Because he said draw, and he drew finger guns, as did I, because I figured he was just not that stupid. Right. But he yelled draw, and, uh, well, he got shot. I didn't have my hand near my weapon one time during that whole encounter. I just didn't think he was gonna do it. Right. Okay. Sorry, it's been one thing after another. I'm just, I'm dealing now with a decapitated cannibal. Okay. Yeah. All right. But before I wouldn't put it. <coughs> Um, Patty, I think she was completely justified in shooting Jack. I know, and she, <laughs> it's not like she's getting it. shot, she's gonna kill him. <laughs> and, uh, she only shot him, it seems, once. Okay. Yeah. So she showed restraint. She didn't keep firing at him. I don't know who it was. They were going pretty fast, though. Jessica for Clayton, and you bashed me and a new deputy over the head with the guns. My horse. Keep going. I want that be. In a real life situation, though, a known, a known criminal person. Yeah, I know. In a real, in a real life situation, that's incredibly dangerous. A known criminal person yelling "draw" and grabbing for their and hovering their hands over their guns and stuff, they would absolutely 100% get shot. By the way, is Boyd okay? Uh, why, why is everyone asking me that? Oh, I just saw you talking to him, and I saw him right off. I didn't know if, if maybe he said something. Well, yeah, she, I mean, she's mad because he's being a complete idiot. Yeah, he was literally antagonizing Law. There's a rights horse right here. Yeah, I took some time off. Gotcha. You got shot. Welcome to day one. Uh, keep an eye on him, please. What do you mean by that? On uh, on Boyd. I know. What? Do you, why? Why? Do you, what do you mean by that? There's so much happening all at once. Okay, but. Uh, what do you mean by uh, keep an eye on him? Just make sure he's not doing anything erratic. Especially with uh, Jack around. He's a grown man. I know. I, I, I know. I, I'm, I'm not. He's trusted to wear. Somebody. He's trust, trusted to wear a badge, just like you are. I understand that. Okay. I'm not trying to make any attacks or anything. I'm just out of concern. About what? 
more information, I'll get to you here in a moment. I need to get to the office. I need to check in with what's happening there. Well, people are being ridiculous. They're being very dramatic. <laughs> it's definitely not angry, Saf. I know, she's not his keeper. Both, Caleb. Is my horse. Well, thing is, he's a grown man who can make his own decisions. He is trusted to wear a badge. He has a badge. She should not be being told to keep an eye on him. Atlas maybe bubbled. It seems like that. I'm going to go uh, get my horse out of stables. Hey, hey, excuse me, Saints Cross and Sheriff Department. I need you both to, to slow it down when you're in town, please. Yes, ma'am. Alright, thank you. Take it easy. Excuse me! That was Boone. Oh, he's getting fined. Doggy, why? Did we see which way that Boone's cart went? Yep, up that way. <laughs> I literally. I yelled at them, uh, told them to slow down, I, I, and I, called no, them an asshole. I, I caught. They were going by the barn, and I said nicely to them, I said, "Hey, I'm gonna need you to slow down, time." He goes, "Okay." Yes, ma'am. Thank you. And starts riding off. And he just tears off right after that. So he's getting a fine. I don't. I'm giving. I'm writing up yeah. that fine. Who is it? That's Boone. Oh, Jesus. Okay. You know, the, the criminal old one. I old Boone. Yeah. He's All wearing right. his outfit from when he was disguised as young old. Not different. Young old Boone. Uh, uh, whatever he was when he was uh -huh. unhiding. Okay. Um. Sure, if you wanted to talk to me or something, I don't know. I'm very confused. Like, uh, everyone yes. keeps running up to me and asking about Boyd, so here he is. Okay, good. Um, yes, just give me a second. I need to arrange a death certificate, and then we can have a chat. Right. Uh, okay. Apparently McCarthy wants to talk to me too, but I think she might be a little held up. Not yeah, sure. it's yeah. the same thing. Um, just oh, bear so with me for a moment. I don't yeah, right. know if he does. I'll, I'll wait um, around. Rip, can you do me a favor? I'm trying to uh, find Lauren. Have you seen her? Uh, she's in the office. She's not. She is. She just went back. Oh. Um, uh, what's up? Okay, no, that's fine. Go for it. It's okay. I'll be right back. How you doing? Okay. 
Not really sure. Yeah. You know what? This is a bounty. I'm not sure. All right, boy. You ready? Yeah. Uh, sure. Nope. Hang on. No. Nope. Away from McCarthy. We'll go to the office. Okay. You're not in trouble. Don't worry. Okay. No, oh, Lark's here. Uh, Mitchell, can you can you go tell Claymore that someone's here already? Uh, all right. He's in the telegram office. My. I don't think she does. Claymore. I've. When I uh, at you can the retract that lurk just already. I came to a very large parish. Okay. In the of Give me one sec, I'll take it out. I, 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 I then I went to Valentine, and there was also a sizable chapel. I'm, glad to see that. I'm not quite sure. There's a lot of things happening. Uh, LBGG plays cash. You guys can shout out whoever you want in here, I don't care. Yeah, LBGG, he plays. He plays Sheriff Cash. Oh, I love this horse. Boy, didn't Saf talk last night?
McCarthy? A little bit. Thank you. Inside. Does anybody else inside know if Claymore's inside? Uh, yeah. Claymore? I've been instructed to work with him on the death certificate. I think it might have been a cannibal person. Well, at least I saved that. I think so. I think, yeah, there's like new rules. I think cannibals typically are supposed to fall under the the serial killer thing. I don't know. Do you know that serial killer is not a term, is a term that was not coined until the 1980s?
messer. There's a thousand horses and people right here. What is happening? Oh, you're sorry. All right, guys. Okay. Yeah, I'm away, Briar. I'm definitely not Briar. God damn it. <laughs> I have the same fucking hair as Are you serious? I'm also tired. <laughs> Shut up. Shut up, Saffron. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> hey, Dusk. Listen, I've been on duty for uh, Claymore. a lot of hours at this point. Uh huh. How you doing? You know, the usual. Get out of my way, Briar. Uh, I I still need to add that to the waited list. So stupid. I asked him so nicely too. You real gal. Oh, that's one of the goddamn oh, uh, cannibal family gosh. that keeps attacking yeah. those oh God, people right. up there in Manzanillo. Sorry, sorry. I could just hear you talking about only having nine toes, and I can see you. Jesus Christ, decapitate. Eighty four twenty eight. Eighty four twenty eight. Uh, for the first like five minutes, you would only say, uh, he came out of the grave. You wouldn't say anything else. Aoife, you're really loud right now. I'm not. You are. Husk, be quiet. Yes, I made Summer's paperwork pretty earlier today, but yes. not everyone else's. <laughs> it's too many. It's too much. Uh, it's it's going to be a process. Yeah. So, the one guy who always talks about cannibals, Jonathan Redding. But when he's around, cannibals tend to turn up dead, and it always seems to be self-defense. So is that technically vigilantism? <laughs> right? <laughs> she has 
How's everyone doing? Uh, Blackwater's in a wee bit of chaos. Every single person in the crossing is here for some reason. Alright. Mm -hmm. Interesting. I see the halfwits in the medical tents. There is a decapitated cannibal over there, apparently. Well, the good news is... If you uh, ever I make haven't. slurping sounds again, Dusk. I swear to God. Anywho, yeah. Uh, Get some table manners! Who, who who did that? I'm assuming that has something to do with the people up at Manzanita. Last time I saw Redding, I cracked his head open. <laughs> and that was like... Well, apparently, he, that was this morning. <laughs> that was this morning. Yeah. And, uh, he's already feeling better, apparently, so... Enough to decapitate someone. Well, that's good. I'm glad I yep. didn't kill him. It looked pretty serious at the time. I didn't even say anything to him. I just cracked him over there. What? Didn't try and tackle him. <laughs> Why? Well, basically, there was a whole situation, right? In the early hours of the morning, I was writing dossiers, you know, being a very good lawman, just uh -huh. updating everything. Uh-huh, right. And then I have three of the half-wits show up on the porch, one of them bleeding everywhere, the other one with an arrow in his leg, and... As I'm getting statement, and it took me literally like 40 minutes to get his statement. Like, it's one of the longest statements uh, like I'd ever written. And also the fact of actually just trying to simplify all the shit he was talking was Aye. a challenge among the brain. Uh-huh. And then as I'm writing the fucking thing, Jonathan just starts assaulting Jojo and starts beating the shit out of him. And I run up <laughs> to try and tackle him. Instead, I just kind of stop to a dead point and instead uh, crack him in the head with my pistol. Oh, so. I did that to Sam Bass yep. once. Yeah, exactly. You know, these things happen. Uh, the, the funniest thing was also, Jojo went Jack deathly silent and didn't say a word. <laughs> and uh, I was like, like sit this. down. And he was terrified. He didn't say a fucking what? word. You know that's a senior five, deputy does. Six, seven, yeah, eight, I know. nine, oh, ten <laughs> deputies here. Yeah, I'm gonna head back to uh, Valentine. Oh, no. Can we behave ourselves, please, for fuck's sake? Nope. Yep, yeah, definitely. If she stops slurping. Smoke bomb. My mouth is just what, ma'am? This remind me of the time that I kicked no, both. Not. Was it was it Pavis and Wright at the same time? Outside. What happened? I kicked you and Wright, I think, outside, the same yeah. time. Yeah. Yeah, I remember that. You gonna stop slurping? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Damn straight. Ugh. Ugh. Um, what's that? What's going on? Suspicious drugs, activity. Drugs. Le Moyne area. Headed west. Well, that's when that we've got a good chance of trying to catch, so we might as well go out for it. Yeah, I'm heading back to Valentine. Whoever leaves this town is not going to be able to get back in for all the dust, though. I'm just going to say that. Come on, Dusk Claymore. Let's go. If she can ride straight. Oh, can she not ride straight? Is she injured? She's... All right, well, just you and I can go. That's fine. She's uh, been drinking bourbon all day. Okay, well... Please do not tell me my horse got enveloped in the dust. I'll I'll take I'll take you over to the stables real quick. We've got time. It's coming from Lamoine. Oh wait, I hear. Oh, there he is. There he is. All right, let's go. Blackwater. All evening. I mean, that's usually the way I prefer it, but not like this. I. It's not supposed to be this chaotic in Blackwater. That's why I liked it traditionally. Uh. 
Usually I take that just fine. Oh, your horse <laughs> has issues. Uh, of course it does. It's that kind of night. What am I looking at? Is this... Oh, it's someone trying to take a cart across here. Do you see that? You know, it'd be funny if it was the Shiner's cart. Ha! <laughs> they don't tend to have lanterns on theirs. For we'll some say, reason. It'd be funny. Except for nothing happens down in Armadillo. And Rabbit uh, is barely, barely brushes my time. I bet Shaw got made senior deputy of Armadillo or Tumbleweed because he's he tends to be down there. All right, let's go up this hill here. I swear those possums make the creepiest noises. I'll watch the bridge. Aye, okay, I'll, I'll watch the river. She might get asked to leave. Like, they're allowed to drink on the job, but it's when they start getting drunk. So if they're getting drunk, if they're getting disorderly, that's drunk and disorderly. That is a actual crime. So they can't be, you know? I think so, anyways. I thought we had a charge for that. Bridge, Maybe bridge, we bridge. All right, let's uh, go cut them off. States Cross and Sheriff Department, stop the cart! How you doing today? I'm alright. Are you? Yeah, y'all gave me real frightened. Oh, well, I mean, you're you're doing a very dangerous activity, you know that, sir. You're riding across a train bridge with a wee cart. Well, I had to. Some fellas back there just tried to rob me. Oh, really? Yeah, uh, three of them. Three of them? What were they shouting? They were shouting, stop or we'll shoot. But they were too pretty far, so I figured I'd take my chances and go across bars. Didn't hear no train. Right, well, the train can also... Let's go ahead and move this cart a wee off, bit off to the side, so we're not sure. sitting on the on the tracks in case the train comes. Which way you want to go? Uh, is there a particular reason why your mask completely covering your face, sir? Yes. And what is that? Because I was in the morning. Right, and it's very... here mosquito heavy down there you see i got my whole you want me to take it off uh i if you could take your mask down also if you could step off the cart please why do i gotta do that because i asked you to like to okay, take a look at the okay. the contacts Can in the back. Yourself, i already did say saints cross and sheriff department i didn't hear that Aye. so what's your transporting today uh couldn't tell you you don't know? How, uh, well, how, he, how is it you don't know? I don't ask, I just do the work. And where'd you get this work from? Uh, some fella down in Lemoyne. 
What would your name be, sir? Sir? Uh, my name is Russell. Sorry, say that again. Russell? Russell. And your last name, Russell? Johnson. Johnson. Russell Johnson. So yes, how, how long have you been in the in the crossing? A couple of days now. Okay. And your claim that you you got a mystery delivery and you're just taking it across the state? Well, that's what I was told to do. Where are you taking it to? Uh, somewhere along the railroad there. Somewhere up that way. Somewhere. Up yeah, that we're way. just gonna. I mean, I'll know it when I see it, kind of thing, right? All right. Um, they'll I mean, be like, oh, that's the wagon we're looking for. Well, like you said, it's it's very dangerous out here. You know, all those uh, criminals who are chasing you to rob you. We could give you an escort over there. Sure. Especially if you say it's just right up the railroad. I should the mention railroad. those fellas are probably still over there just at that station. There. Aye, well we're not going to go running up on three armed robbers, okay, just the two smart. of us. Sure. And I think it's best that we keep a Aye, good keep a nice pace. slow piece, eh? This fine? Uh, go a wee bit slower, I think. Slower? Aye. You know, nice. a little slower. Don't want to uh, break all those bottles in there after all, eh? Well, we got them packed tight. Right. Yeah, but those bottles themselves are pretty fragile. What do you know about these bottles? Oh. I'm sorry, that came across real, <laughs> real hostile. Wait, we're just amazing. offering you an escort. Okay, okay, I appreciate it. An armed escort, nonetheless. Oh yeah, I don't even have to pay for it. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, normally an escort like this would cost about what, three hundred dollars? Seth. Uh, is that is that how much they cost? I wouldn't know. Oh, for an escort like this. All right. Is that wolves coming up? I heard something. Uh, I did not hear no wolves. That's all right. They're probably frightened by the cart. You sure the place that you're taking this is right up the tracks? It might be a, a I just ways away. Can he think of a place? Really, any business that's this way. I mean, if you keep following this, it's gonna go up to Wallace Station. Uh, but you could I, you I'm, could bring a delivery to the train right here at Riggs. Or is somebody meeting you uh, by the tracks up there? I think so. This job doesn't tell you. Uh, look, look, just look. I, I w I've been going around asking. You can ask the fellas in Valentine. I've been like, been looking for work. Uh, ask them if they know anything. They ask what kind of work I'm looking for. I said I got two hands and I'm willing to lift heavy stuff. They said go down to Saint Denis. There's a fella down there who offers work for plenty of folk. Went down there, met a fella named uh, Ezekiel. He gave me, he told me just to deliver this wagon up towards this way. He said follow the tracks, you'll know it when you see it. Huh. Well, he had to have given you something nice too. something because i mean other ways you could just deliver it to any random person well, that's true but if i deliver it to someone that don't give me money then i know it's not them and this fella did he say he had a little job for you uh, this ain't much of a little job he said he said it pays well i think that yeah, next time you go down towards sunday you need to talk to the fella down there at the um the orange maybe fields. uh Maybe we can pick this up. How about you stop, how about you cart stop right the cart? Now? Sir, you need to stop the cart. Stop or we'll start shooting the cart. Yep. Okay. So Are you are you gonna stop now? What are you doing, Russell? No, 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 no. Okay. Y'all got me. I ain't looking to get shot. I didn't Stop think you'd moving. keep your word. Yep. I got a pistol in my uh, poster. Now we have to charge him. I didn't want to have to charge uh, him. Does he look cuffed to you, Saffron? No, I uh, don't. No. Maybe uncuff me and I'll put my hand. He might have to take a really, really quick nap. Just close his eyes real, real quick. I will do yeah, that. Yeah, just because uh, uh -huh. uh, both my cuffs fell on the ground. Okay, we'll be right out, here. You don't want to cuff him.
we? <laughs> uh huh. That's what I thought. I knew he was gonna start doing that any second. <laughs> I gotta get new. Okay. Oh, there we go. Okay, now, now we he go. looks cuffs. Russell, do you so... want to just 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 one second, Russell? Before I open up one of these, do you want to maybe be honest with me? Oh, it's Sean. Okay, and you are aware that it's illegal in Saints Cross, and I just yes, be honest I'm with me. I'm aware. Okay. All right, go ahead and get on his horse, please. Him mind helping me out a little bit? Yeah, sure. Right. Here, I'll reach my hand out to you. One, two, three. Oh! Here, I can help you up there too. Go on. <laughs> I might need to be uncuffed for just a moment. Okay. okay. I know that sounds no, no, crazy. I, no, 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 it's, it's fine. Okay. All right, train hop up now. All right, same countdown. All right, one, two, three. Uh, uh, go ahead and just keep trying. You should be able to scramble up there in a moment. There we go. There, there we go. go. By the way, my name's Deputy uh, John Claymore. All right. Blackwater's a wee bit insane, so let's go to Strawberry. Sounds good. Blackwater's insane? The dust is really kicking up. There's a lot of people there. Oh. Wow, your horse is, your horse is making yes, me insane. Yes, I, I know, Saffron. I know. I'm going to fix it as soon as <laughs> we're done with this. Y'all were not... Uh... Not lying about shooting. We normally I... don't. Well, I told you if he didn't stop, oh, I'd start on. firing at the cart, and then what happened? <laughs> we did. We did give a warning. It's not. We we don't do it without giving a warning. No, entirely fair. I just uh. You did. You didn't get hat, did you? No. Okay. I can tell you, Mr. Russell, I, I don't uh, take any pride in having to shoot people. So Neither would it go in for your cart first? Mm. Although you should know that if you run and, you know, one of the bullet stri bullets hits one of those moonshine bottles, they are highly flammable if any, you know, sparks happen. I don't quite know the odds of that happening, but... Maybe if I had a lantern on the cart? Aye, then it could be pretty dangerous. But main shiners don't typically have lanterns because that would draw attention. No, <laughs> to no they do not. <laughs> but you know what does draw attention? Riding across Bard's Crossing at breakneck speeds. Mm. Well, I wasn't lying about that bit. What about uh, the three people who said you were chasing you saying stop That's or I'll shoot? That's what I'm saying. I wasn't lying. About. You think it was was it other law though? No. No. No, they had master. Hmm. I'm gonna send a top. Go ahead and get him in the cells. Got it. Howdy. Howdy. Now I have this song stuck in my head. Thanks, Motto. Oh, mm. also Howdy. Howdy. Hmm. One issue with strawberry is just how there's no parking space. <laughs> and I hate the cells here, how they're underneath. Uh, 
Uh, uh, was that back door open when you came in here, Claymore? Uh, it looked like it in my eyes. I was gonna okay. check it once I got him situated. All right. Good back away from the door. And my uh, my my eyes are really messing up right now. All right, Lloyd, if you come over here, I will take those cuffs off. Oh, Wade's his name? Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah, I lied about the thing. All right. Well, I had you're to. You're coming clean. You had to because you've been caught doing this before? No. Oh, why did you have to lie about your name? Um. I... Old habit, I guess. I mean, look up both of those names. I'd be surprised if you found anything. Actually, I'm studying a report right now, but I, I could look up your name if you wanted me to. Sure. I shouldn't have nothing. Not in this state. So, Lloyd, uh, first and last name? It's Lloyd Conway. Uh, Conway. I know this character. And you spell it L L O Y D or just L O Y D? L L O Y D, double L. Yeah, he's a criminal from Wildwest RP. I know him. <laughs> okay. Oh, he's right. Nothing here. Hi. Where'd you? Um... <coughs> who who showed you how to moonshine? Well, the okay, that's that's a bit treacherous territory, don't you think? Why? But it's a good way to get your charges reduced and. We're not going to well, go got, You got to tell me what I'm looking at here before oh, I. Right. Okay, well, I will. We will. Here, let me tally up exactly what you can be charged with for today. Because moonshining is handled very harshly on this state. What you have on him? Uh, just a gun, knife, the basics. Nothing was fired or used. All right, well, first there's possession of Moon Shine Kurt, which is uh, 35 days and $250 fine. Is that it? No. Okay. Uh, there's Don't forget a false flee name. My fleeing and eluding. Well. Providing that's a, false a name. charge mm -hmm. there's providing a false name and that's uh, an additional 10 days and 20 dollars and fleeing the loon which i believe is another 15 days and 30 dollars 30 dollars you don't mind if i take off my coat no you can go ahead Uh, hmm. and what what were you? Uh, is that everything? For now. Or is there more? That's a so that's a total of three hundred dollars fine, and and sixty days. Hmm. Let's talk about this fine. Uh, what about okay, so you? What you want to know who I who told me? Why? Okay, then what happens from that point? Well, if you're willing to provide information, I can start knocking that down. I'm at liberty to reduce your charges as I see fit. Hmm. And of course, yeah. with all confidentiality, that's not something that you can really stick around if you want. Rushing out to um, bang down doors on. Done. It's just going to be stuff that's it. added to uh, yeah, just uh, my knowledge of uh, who uh, is uh, doing this sort of stuff, stuff in the cross. Okay, see. Which, you know, a list that you're already going to be on, Mr. Conway. Right. So it's, uh, it's not something that's going to be feedback to you either, because I don't need to note down that it's he that told me. 
word redacted is there for a reason. Mm -hmm. All, uh, all it will say on your sheet is that charges reduced for complaints, essentially. I can't imagine a way where it doesn't come back to me should something happen to them, though. Well, You'd I, be surprised. Like, we are very creative with way with, with how we uh, find information. And likewise, it's it's nothing nothing that you see here is going to give us something that we can go track someone down with a warrant. It's just going to be. All right, so that person is indeed likely doing moonshining. We might just keep an eye on them a wee bit more. Ultimately, it's not going to change a whole lot more. Okay, well, if I'm uh, if I'm being honest, I'm having a hard time recalling their names right now. All right, well, you want to describe where you met them, what they look like, sound, uh, that sort of stuff. And can I know, like, because uh, that that find is mighty heavy. I How... and I'd like to work it down for you, but it depends on your complaints. I'm not going to throw a figure out there ahead of time. It depends on what I'm getting. Okay, smart. I By the way, been doing this for a while, Mister Conway. If you notice the. Uh... Fine is the exact uh, total of the cost of the escort that uh, one of those usually costs. I wouldn't know. Remember earlier I said the, the cost of one of these escorts is around $300? Is that like how much I'd get paid or something? No, that's how much the fine usually is once they come close. Oh, they try to okay. run. Gotcha. Hmm. How long would I have to pay this fine? So uh, once you have the fine, it will be direct. It will be taken directly from your bank account. If you don't have that much money in your bank account, your bank account will be in the negative, and it will not be positive again until you have paid back your debt. So you have unlimited time to pay off the fine. Okay. All right. Um, maybe, am I all right to pull out my journal here and take a look through it? Uh, sure. Hi. Okay. Just give me one moment. I'm sorry. Mm hmm He did have some weed on him, but that's about it. No. Uh, you've made no, we basically took him to custody, like... What was it? Okay. 25 of the hour? Uh, what was that? Sorry, um, just speaking with Claymore here. Yeah, oh, um, about there. I should probably whisper. So, Hi. Um, it, it was a couple of brothers. Mm -hmm. And I met them over in the Hardens. Now, the names I... I can't quite recall. They're a bit uh unhinged unhinged yeah like uh, uh ain't no lights on upstairs kind of thing uh -huh. there were well there were quite a few of them but i think there were two or three well there okay so there was definitely two and then one or two others would kind of just come in and out a lot. Didn't really talk to them. Where uh, where were you? Were you at Emerald Ranch? Were you at the Wheatfield House? Yeah, near, near Emerald Ranch. Like, uh, uh, I get yeah, the, the wheat fields to the west of it, right? Right. I think we were in between those two. Emerald Ranch and the wheat field. Hmm, okay. All right. Well, can you can you describe their uh, maybe their accents? How they speak? Um, you ever been to Butcher's Creek? Mm-hmm. Like that. Unfortunately, it sound like them folk. It does sound like, like them. Uh, like uh, delirious. Like uh. Right, do you have a? Do you remember a hair color? 
hair color of either of them? I don't know if they had hair. You don't know if they had hair? <laughs> I don't think they I'm did. going to imitate something. You let me know if it sounds familiar. Go okay? ahead. Did he get uh, irritated at all? Did he, did he have a... Like, how did his voice sound? Um, One of them... One of them, now that you mention it, the, the skinny one, he, uh, there's a skinny and a fat one, by the way. Mm -hmm. uh, I think either both of them are wearing overalls or just the fat one. The skinny one, though, he, uh, he asked the fat one, oh, where'd you find this guy? And, uh, he said where we met over by Emerald. And then he, he kind of just made this, like, hmm sound, but it was really like, uh, mm -hmm. yes, that, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. and, then, and then he shouted for his horse which I believe was named Horse huh. you think you're familiar with these people Claymore? a little bit you didn't happen to catch their names at all did you? I was just trying to remember them I, I didn't write them down I just wrote them as the brothers alright okay well um do you very much appreciate you offering this information to us. Uh, Claymore, once you're done writing what you're writing, I'd like to go upstairs and we can have a word real quick and then we'll return to him with a sentence, and I. Uh, sure. Maybe we could talk about some uh, community service for that fine. Um. Maybe. What, a... that cell door? Like, it, just anything. <laughs> no, that I ain't paying for it, I beg. You will have to... If you to... have any mercy in you. I know, I know. Unfortunately, this is what happens when you do this sorts of stuff and you were aware it was illegal. Um, we do appreciate that you didn't get violent with us, which is something that's going to be taken into account. You were compliant with us. You didn't stonewall us. You admitted it was shine after we started shooting at the vehicle. Um, we're going to go upstairs and discuss it. I'll be back, okay? Sure. Mm -hmm. I don't know why, I always feel the need to jump to the second step. <laughs> yeah, come over here. Alright, well, what are you thinking of that? He's telling the truth. Those two brothers are... I don't... I, I need to put wanted out for them because okay. they keep assaulting this man in Valentine. Oh, like, They've already done it like three times already. Are they like the... Are they like the Poils or something? Or... Um... I think they might be... Uh, mm -hmm. They have, like, a sister. Uh, <coughs> the moment he started describing them, I almost had the skinny one in Valentine today, but mm -hmm. there were gunshots from a local that I had to deal with, and he got away. All right. Well, you should I'm... make sure that you write down your suspicions about who he's talking about. Uh... I mean, it's very, like I said, no. it's very distinctive when Especially... he said he's talking about the mm -hmm. skinny one. Uh -huh. All right. Well, I think that's, I mean, that's pretty compliant, and it is his first time doing this. I'd be happy dropping his fine down to a hundred dollars flat. I've done I've dropped it down lower for other people. First offence. Give him a chance to sort of get on a right path, you know. Now the that rest sounds of that. good. Uh right now with time served he's looking at forty days. I think that we could have that. About twenty days, a hundred dollars? Mm-hmm. Sounds good to me. All right. You want to charge him? Yeah, sure. You got the paperwork got handled? Yep. Paperwork's right. already done. Just need to fill in the minute details. All right. You can do that, and I'll, I'll talk to him. Bye. All right. Okay. I, okay. Why do I want to walk in circles on the stairs? <laughs> I didn't again. All right, Mr. Conway. Yes, sir. So we've discussed your charges, and you are getting a special sort of leeway today. Because you are near the crossing, because this is your first charge, uh, but especially because you are compliant and very reasonable with us, um, mm -hmm. I can't uh, explain just how uh, appreciative we are to deal with that. It's very refreshing. Some of the people that we what deal with every job? day. Sorry. You can. <laughs> hmm? You know anyone hiring legal work? Uh, I. I mean, I know. I know. I have stuff that you can do that is legal. Mm -hmm. Um, if you go to well, for okay, let's first get the the charges, okay? Okay, yeah. So, let's do that. so we're essentially, I mean, it's gonna be on your sheet 
the the um, given a false name and the fleeing and looting, but we're essentially taking away anything uh, any of the charges associated with that. We're also dropping down what would normally be a two hundred and fifty dollar fine on the moon shining alone to one hundred dollars today. Okay. Now, I'm hoping that this won't go the opposite of my intentions. Most lawmen are not going to give you this deal. Most lawmen are going to get you with at least 200 or more for that same charge. Yeah. Right. So this is your first time. Uh, you will probably not see this sort of leniency again. And gotcha. I'm hoping, I'm hoping that instead of getting hit with a $300 fine, uh, you won't be as desperate and you'll make an effort to be an upstanding citizen rather than doing stuff like this that can get people hurt and killed okay so that's that's why we've made this decision today so you're going to be with us for 20 more days and uh mm. you're going to get a hundred dollar sure. fine versus uh sorry first time this happens lloyd uh people may find it kind of disconcerting the guards they kind of like pick you up and toss you down but i'll be promising uh -oh. you now should i get up Ah, uh, you're okay. Okay. God, he roughed me up. Yeah, mm -hmm. I told you. The, the, the local guards, they kind of, they don't have any manners. Mm -hmm. So what would you say? Just, just, uh, you know, that I, I really hope that this encourages you to make better choices. I know. Um, as for legal work, there's some easy legal work in the area. Um, you know, aside from maybe going to saloons and stuff and offering to work the bar or or do other odd jobs, you can uh, go down to the Blackwater General Store and get yourself ten bottles of the, the, the milk and you take them over to McFarland's Ranch and there's a fellow there that will give you a wagon delivery that'll take you back to Blackwater and it'll pay uh, $50.00. So each time you do that, you're going to get yourself, what, is that 40 to 50 or something like that? I think. Also, uh, if you buy an axe and you go to the lumber yard, uh, you spend $1 for a license, gather up 15 pieces of wood, take it down to Blackwater, and they give, give you, you $40. $40, aye, $40. Like, something. what, less than five minutes worth of work? Aye, it's pretty, I used to do that. I used to do that before I was a lawman. So there's pretty good money to be made there. Um... And then lastly, if you go down to Sandini, the orange fields, you go pick uh, 20 oranges and the fellow will give you a delivery that will take you all the way to Valentine and give you $60 for making that journey. You know, and that, and that's, right. that's aside from everything else that you can do, like hunting and fishing. And I know there's people who are after certain herbs and stuff like that. You can always uh find out what they're looking for to where to get it and then you can fill up our bags and bring it and they'll pay you for it ah uh, there's mining too lots of mining a few uh, like that so much mining mm -hmm. lots of people mine for money and what was y'all's names again i'm deputy mitchell deputy claymore mm, deputies mitchell and claymore i tell you what i feel like a changed man today <laughs> well, if you really are changed, then you know maybe keep your nose clean. Mm. We hope to see join it the cadet program. Why? I've seen plenty of people turn themselves around. Actually, you know what? If you can get me time, you know the Arab time. No. You, oh well. I'm not much of an herbalist. All right. Well, I mean, if if it ever appeals to you, <laughs> if you bring me, uh, I mean, I'll. I'll I'll pay you. I'll pay you a dollar per sprig of time that you can get for me. Easy. Per sprig of time, mm -hmm. okay. And you can stack, I think, thirty of them in a pocket. So thirty dollars for the. I mean, I mean, I'd, if you get, brought me that much, I'd give. I'd straight up give you fifty dollars. If you brought me thirty time. What about a horse? Uh, what about a horse? Do you need a horse? What uh? What do I got to do to get a horse around here? Oh, there's stables in town. Uh, you should have been given $80 stipend coming in the state. I'm um, assuming that you spent that already. Yes. Did you spend it on sugar? No. Okay. Spent it at the saloon, and then I went and made a bit more money than I spent it on sugar. How much cash do you have on you? 
I got 13 bucks. I'll tell you what. I'll give you $40. You can go on your butt. No, I'll give you $50. You can go and buy yourself a, a horse Morgan. and a saddle. Aye, you can get yourself a Morgan. Oh, I already have a, a shit horse. All right. Well, I'm. Um, um, he just, uh, he's scared of just about everything. All right. Well, what I would suggest then is to, to use him for a while and then start doing work like mining, milk deliveries, with, you know, whatever, whatever, uh, suits suits you hunting uh coyotes are really good money if you can shoot them they're uh not just the pelt but the the carcass gets you a nice bounty at the uh at the butchers i think about 12 to 16 dollars depending on the quality and you can take them out with a carbine a carbine do you have a weapon like a carbine no all right well maybe that's what we can spend that 50 dollars on eh? oh yeah that's not bad well how about okay how about instead of y'all, did you already find me? Aye, but yes. we, okay, we no, no. that's, so that's not something we don't get the money from the fines or anything. That's oh. taken directly by the state and it has been removed from your bank, your bank balance. So if you had anything in your bank, it's, it's, you know, a hundred dollars is gone. So, uh, whether that pits you in the negative and owing the bank or not. My bank account will be grieving tonight. Uh, look at the bright side. It's not near as bad as some of the more major criminals out there. I think one, not going to name names, he has like, what, 17,000? Why? There's Holy someone. Shit. Aye. That is one thing you'll find. No, the criminals of the crossing are very broke and desperate, great. Is there a, uh, like, hypothetically, like, let's say I had a $17,000 fine. Can I just choose to be executed instead? Uh, you plan uh, on racking uh, up that much of a no, negative no, bank account? Can you just choose to be executed instead of pay the money? $17,000? I, mean, uh, depend on how things go, you might get executed by the state, but, I mean, it it takes a lot for people to get, get that way. Um, there are people who should probably definitely be executing who have now so i don't know that ain't me <laughs> I, I sure hope not mr conway do i do I, I didn't even take my gun out or nothing no uh you would have been charged if you had done that i'd have been shot yeah mitchell and i hear a really good shot so you wouldn't have gotten far i'd be rather than pain in a doctor's office if i was even alive Right, which we really we'll be talking about don't, charges don't want. in an hour from now. Right. Yeah, we hate shooting people. We really do. <laughs> I wasn't sure if Claymore. The day I hear different from a deputy, I might be concerned. Um. Uh, well, you know there are all sorts of different deputies in the crossing, so. Uh... Sure, way to make that sound ominous. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying there are those who are much more trigger happy than than I am or you are. So. Let's just say you got lucky it was us that caught you. That's good to hear. I need a drink. Do you got uh, I water gave you there? a stew and I gave him a full got canteen. got water, but it ain't whiskey. Nah, well, we're not going to be supplying whiskey to you in the cells here. This is a place for way, you to dry out. Since you weren't violent and you didn't draw or shoot at us, you will be getting your gun, lasso, and neck back. Nice. Nah. Uh, That's good. When when uh, your days are up here in the cells, the those local guards are when gonna. My days are up. Well, here you know you the, the time when your time is served. When your okay, time's no. served, that's what I mean. Wow, ominous saffron. Wow, Holy I shit. didn't mean it that way. Goodness, <laughs> your days are numbered, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> uh, those those rough those rough guards are gonna just kind of drop you on the outskirts of town here. Most towns, they'll drop you at the telegram station, but here they just sort of deposit you outside of town. <laughs> uh, strawberry's a bunch of assholes. I bet you can walk back up here and we'll give you your weapons back, okay? Okay. And then we can, we can go over to the we can go over to the journal store and get you a carbine. That'll help you get some hunting in if you're not, you know, because not everyone's a delivery person. You know, mm -hmm. you might they be more of a... guns at the general store? Uh, mm -hmm. there is a gun store here in town. At the general store. Oh, right? what? That's incredible. 
<laughs> Please Sorry, don't make us regret for. this. Oh, you won't. You'll next thing you'll be hearing from me is uh, winning some kind of prize for being such an outstanding citizen. <laughs> sure hope so, Mister Conway. You know what's sad is if I had a dollar for every time I've heard that, <laughs> you'd have three dollars. Then you'd have a dollar. I've never heard it exactly that way. <laughs> but, but, or some variation. Uh, At least I don't tell him his days are numbered. Okay, that's not what I meant. You know what? <laughs> Man, when his teeth and the cellar up, goodness, a uh, uh, goodness. <laughs> <laughs> when you have yeah, served I mean, your team, second, when I thought of it, <laughs> it time's up, so Lloyd. Drive y'all insane. What the Sorry? rain? There's, no, there's this that water wheel out there. I actually if find I it kind of that, soothing. I, I like I heard hearing. that all day, I'd lose my mind. I'd jam a stick into that thing and make it stop. But it's probably more incentive not to get thrown in a cell here, right? <laughs> right, I'll get there. Never mind. I th if the, uh, the Blackwater Sheriff's Office, there's a clock in there that ticks, and I've had uh, people comment on that one, too. Lord. We mostly use that as an interrogation tool. Well, don't reveal your secret. <laughs> yeah, but now you know. If we take you to Blackwater, you may as well crack. You'll never take me inside of a cell ever again. Good. That's what I like to hear. That sounded threatening. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, well... <laughs> How much time you got left, Lloyd? The guards would usually tell you. Uh, if I had to guess, a pretty accurate guess, like 10 days. Alright, um, I'm gonna go check the tent lane, so... I might, yep. uh... Alright, well, I'm just gonna be napping here with my head. Aye, okay. you're fine to do that. So how'd your arrest go? Oh, good. It was all peaceful, quiet. Saffron threatened his life, you know. I did not threaten his life, goodness. Is that a new vest? Oh, well, I've worn it before. Just not often. Looks good. Thanks. Everyone's in Blackwater. That's a good thing we brought him here. Yeah, no, it was good. <laughs> <laughs> Gabriel Gout, why does that sound familiar? Uh, the Gout... Gouts were those cannibal people that they were dealing with. Hmm. It was nice and refreshing compared to the typical criminal cell interactions. Yeah, yeah. Redding was was Redding was the one that brought in brought him in, right? The dead guy, the cannibal. Uh I was near there for it, but it sounds like something like that. There's no arrest report. Well, he's claiming self defense gun. I mean, and <laughs> I really don't like charging people for murder when it's cannibal crazy people but uh, I don't blame you but uh, I it's so hard to know what's going on with all that <sighs> you know I really don't want to be shot by this guy in the future with a repeater with a carbine that I paid for that would just be humiliating I sort of feel like he won't do that Feeling okay? You're like sniffling. I'm just tired. I haven't even sleeping. You could try to like a chamomile tea. Usually that helps sleep. I've just not been able to sleep. Oh, same here. I sleep maybe an hour. That. Yeah. Nice, something like that.
But you don't have to worry about Lloyd's paperwork that's already all done. All right. Thank you. Mm -hmm. for not... What's that? I said for not sleeping, you're still a hell of a shot. We... Wait, you're being serious with that comment? <laughs> yeah. Why wouldn't I be? <laughs> I mean, I usually expect people to make fun of my shooting and tell me that it's it's crap. That's usually how it goes. Why would I do that? Everyone does it, so I just expect it. I'm not everyone. Just making this note here that he provided me with some information that I needed. I am glad I didn't hit him. I mean, I didn't want to hit him. And he was smart. He stopped. Okay, I like clam war. Clam, clam war a little more now. <laughs> Since he's released, I may take a trip out near Emerald to see if those two guys are there. I'll come with you then. Wait, are you still weak? Yeah. Hey, Saffron, I'm just going to sit in this chair and smoke a cigarette for a second. Okay. Were you serious about there being people uh, on the other side of the tracks trying to get you to stop? <sighs> no. Okay. Just wanted to make sure. I thought maybe I could make one of you turn around at that point, but... Mm -hmm. Alas. You know what? That, the funny thing is, we've done this a lot. And we've, mm -hmm. we've heard a lot. <laughs> a lot of excuses. <laughs> so, uh... Yeah, I imagine. Mm -hmm. I wasn't very convincing. So. <laughs> I mean, you realize what you did, I Driving a cart across a bridge like that. <laughs> well, it was it's either... pretty extreme. The, that's I was real, cutting it that's close true on time desperation, already. you know. Oh, I, know. I, I am desperate. Uh, mm -hmm. I got my horse in the stable that I want at. She's nine hundred and fifty dollars in there. Oh wow! So you did have some money. Wait, how'd what you, do you mean? Nine hundred. No, I'm saying I'm. I'm trying to get that. Money. Oh, you're trying to get that to get a horse yes. you want. Okay. I mean, you can get that money. It's just gonna take hard work. Like I said, I mean, if if you bring me, you know what? If you can bring me thirty time, I will give you a hundred dollars. Well, where where uh, where is time usually located? Um, from what I've been told, and I've seen some of it, you know, out in the heartlands. Mhm. Mm uh, there's um, there's like hell with a tree that's broken and bent over and bare and it's got a it's got a grave underneath it i believe that the ridge line that carries south from there is supposed to have time and just sort of that general area okay so busted old tree in the heartlands but follow the ridge south if you can find a fellow named hyro He's off in times in Valentine. He knows a lot about herbs and stuff, and I'm sure that he'd be willing to tell you where. Haro? Uh huh. He's in Valentine. Or well, Hiro, I he tends to be down in Valentine a lot because because he's from Whippy, so he comes through. And then oh, uh, okay. Matto, Matto, he's he's a, he's a doctor, so he's often in the doctor's office. He'd probably let you know too. Gotcha. Well, I'll take a look when uh when I have the time. I'm a bit caught up right now. Mm -hmm. Sure, I'm just uh basically offering you something, you know. Yeah, no, I would definitely. Uh, I'll go take a look when I'm out of here. Uh, and actually, if you went um 
You want to take down my telegram? Uh, sure. Let me get up. Because I'm not going to remember it. So I need to write it down. Why? Sorry, my back hurts. I just, I'm enjoying it as much as I can. Okay. <sighs> All right, so my name is Saffron Mitchell. My telegram is Mitchell Saffron uh, uh, 716. So I'm as 716. Is that just coincidence or? It's, it's, it's a very happy coincidence, eh? Wow. Where can I find time? She just said on a clock. Would have been great. Wow. Okay, I feel a bit caught up right now. <laughs> MS seven one six. Aye. Okay. Uh, these guards are about to throw me out. All right. Well, I'll see you outside then. I think Claymore has your guns, but let's go in here real quick. I have your uh, stuff right here. All right. I um I left my coat in there too. I grabbed it for you. Oh, you're amazing. And here's that carbine. Really hard time, uh oh okay. I have a hard time uh sometimes, taking things from Sometimes folks. talking a wee bit helps. Oh, okay. Ooh, and some bullets. Mm -hmm. Can I take it out or are y'all gonna freak out on me? Uh, no, I'm not gonna freak out on yeah. Okay, very nice. It's not the best, you know. But I have downed a cougar in one shot with those before. Not that I recommend going cougar hunting specifically. Uh, no problem. That was an amazing shot. <laughs> that was pure luck. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, uh, one last thing, Lloyd. Uh, how long ago did you see those two brothers at that field? Uh, two days, three days, somewhere in there. Okay. All right, well, best wishes to you, Lloyd. Hope to see you around in towns. No, uh, Not driving in carts like a madman. No. <laughs> Where? Yeah, I'll uh, see if I can find that time for you. Where can I find you, or should I just telegram me? Uh, I tend to be around Blackwater, but I telegram me. If you if you have it, do telegram okay. me. Okay. All right, I'm gonna head that way, I guess, if my horse is around. But, uh, I, you should be able to go down to the stables here in town, and uh, they should have them for you. 
And which way is the stables like over the hill that uh, way? Uh, right it? up or that way. There Aye, there's a there's a paddock right outside of town. Okay. Mm, to oh. the to the um. Howdy. South. All right. Well, I'm gonna brave this weather and look for your time and uh, do some honest work and right, be maybe careful not around this area though. Lightning. There's a lot of wolves. I do oh. be careful. All right, I will. Um, have a good night. Aye, you too. Uh. Whoa. Uh. That's not my horse. No, it's a. Looks like it's Fish's horse. Not right now. Did your horse just come out of the general store? Yeah, y'all came out of there, didn't you? So why wouldn't peck her? Maybe you need some apples. I really don't want to say uh -huh. what I was going to say. Say it anyway. I'm, I'm walking away. I'm walking away right now. Alright, I'm gonna refill my water canteen and then we'll send a tip and head on to em around Emerald, Aye. see if they're around there. Nice. Whoops, sir. Careful, I'm walking here. Hey, I'm walking here. I had to make that joke. I really did. Mm -mm. You know, if you want to get caught up on why I want these guys, the uh, Ernie Crabgrass report. No, it's really. I trust you. Because <laughs> apparently he also went in and assaulted Scout in the bathhouse. Hmm. I need a. Is that cooking fire down there at the end of town? No, it doesn't even look like it. Maybe. Uh, yeah, it is. I'm a, I need to go kick. I see it. It's there. What a freshly cooked, uh, meat. <laughs> sure, it What's the <laughs> Just generic meat. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm trying to think. I, I hunted it last night, okay? It was, um... <laughs> there was deer, but there was also wolves and, uh beaver so uh the beaver is going to be very greasy the wolf's going to be very dry uh you need let's go to the stables before we go anywhere your horse uh yeah there is actually for people doing the tonics because there's like speed tonics and druggy tonics and stuff like that okay that hurt what, what happened? How hard I just had to bite my damn tongue. 
Why? You know the kind of jokes that I make. No. Ne never mind. Okay. Can you guys take a look at this uh, battle for me? Back How's about um? I appreciate it. How's about that we go by Wallace Station and then through Cumberland to get to Emerald? I can lead. Sounds good. Probably. I hate that you can't say like the literal name of an animal without people being annoying like that. At least he restrained himself. You know what's funny? Uh, no. What's that? Or, I should say, weird is ever since we disposed of the, uh, one of the newer bloody hoods and arrested the other two, uh -huh. none They've of the been... others have come out of hiding. Hi, well, they're, they're the types to ride around in a, a group. Like, I haven't seen or heard of them since we got them that night. Nothing's wrong with animal names, misconstructed. It's just how people want to turn everything into innuendo. I, I, I mean, like I said, I think that they're the types to lay low and not show their faces. Well, in this case, their masks. Unless um, they're in force. Which makes sense. I mean, they're very wanted people. Yeah, but there's still, what, at least five of them? Is there, though? I thought the numbers went up to seven. Well, I don't know, can. They probably, I mean, like, any gang, there's some who can only be around, you know, every wee bit, you know. Rider. By the way, I do have some sugar cubes if you need any for your horse. Oh no, Marie. I feed him carrots mainly. I normally give my horse apples, but I actually gave uh, my apples somebody who might have to take their weapons off of their face. <laughs> I've done that. You know who I gave some perfectly good chocolate milk and a chocolate bar to once? Oh no. Why Ooh. are you saying oh no like that? Because it's perfectly good chocolate milk. Wesley Shields. Oh no. Uh huh. You wasted chocolate milk on Wesley Shields. I know and then he telegrammed me. Thanks for I forgot to say thank you for the chocolate milk and stuff. I think you're lucky he didn't take that as a sign of merit, as, you know, like uh, a marriage proposal. Oh, uh, gross. <laughs> Sorry, I never regarded him very highly. I mean, I respected that he had come from, you know, where he had in his past, but the way he treated the people that he was supposedly caring about was pretty gross, in my opinion. Yeah, I heard about what, uh, what he pulled. I don't know exactly what he pulled. I just know that the moment Bianca had her stuff, he went from being by her side constantly uh, going left here to instantly being with uh, Molly, you know, and then and then flip flop into Kriya. No. Uh Sorry, what was that? Oh, no, my horse wanted to be a I know, you, you started to say something else, though. 
No, I, uh, wasn't he getting married to that one? Abby, Annie, whatever her name was that night. Oh, I have no idea. He actually said that there was going to be a wedding and she was in the back of his horse. This was like last week. I have no idea. No, I, I've got no idea. I, I really don't care. You know, after a while, they're just going to calling it STD, Shields Transmitted Disease. Gross. Crossing the river here. I'll admit, some of my jokes are, aren't that great. You got shot. Up to day one. Thanks for the follow, Lone Wolf. You really think these, uh... Sorry, do you, do you have a name on the people that we're looking for? I have to look at... I think they might be the Poil brothers. You think they're the Poils? Okay. I've never... I there's there's another one. I feel I feel like there just keeps being more and more of them. That's weird. But I don't have a name for them just yet. Uh huh. I have a suspicion, but I know what they. I, I know what the smaller one Be looks like, and I know the what the bigger here. one looks like. Yeah, I almost had the skinny one back in Valentine earlier, but then huh. the local started shooting up off the saloon. Of course they did. And he, he took that moment to book it. Trust me, you'll uh, you'll know them when you see them. Mm-hmm. The skinny one is overalls, uh... Going to the right. Riderless horse. Aye, uh, there, there was another one. I think just... I think we're just too close to Valentine. Do you know where we are? We're just, uh, no, I don't. Huh. We're just outside of Valentine. That's a road down I to Valentine. I was just going to say that. <laughs> I just realized how little we actually ride through uh, Cumberland Forest. Well, we don't really have any reason to. So we should start. Mm-hmm. I mean, the only time we ever really ride through is when we're chasing right. somebody or responding to something. Mm -hmm. We don't actually have a patrol through here. Dangerous as it can be, as it can be, Cumberland is extremely gorgeous, though. My, my. Like there can be a lot of wolves up here. I know I had to spend 20 minutes trying to convince Mama and Scout not to go after this guy on their own. Really? Yeah, I, I think they're going to. I think we might have to slap them with a vigilante charge eventually, but... I think that's what you end up having to do. How are you, Saffron? How are things in the world of Saffron Mitchell? I'm afraid I can't really comment too much on that. I don't really know. A wee bit of limbo and some things. Well, things won't stay in limbo forever. Eventually, things just kind of settle themselves. I'm gonna cut across the fields here.
trying to stretch and hydrate, but I'm also riding my horse, so it makes it difficult. <sighs> oh. Here's the wheat fields. Wanna check out the house here, just in case? Yeah, we can check out the house. Saints Cross and Sheriff Department. If you're inside, make yourself known. If you do not make yourself known and you have a weapon, you're liable to be, you're liable to be shot. Don't see anyone through the windows. Sort of, I mean, moonshiners and this being a wheat field. I'm curious about these outbuildings. Uh, Want to check and see if you find any crates of anything inside uh, those three shacks right there, and I'll check this barn down here. I mean, there's vending machines at my local Costco that have hot drinks. Oh, if anything, we caught a moonshiner tonight. Uh -huh. That's a win. I mean, I guess so. I don't really look at it in series of wins and losses, if that makes sense. How about this? If, if people are committing crimes, we're all losing. How about this? We may have stopped somebody from committing, from committing future crimes. Aye, we might have. I sure hope so. He seemed, he seemed like a... I, I liked him. I hope that he does turn, turn things around. He may have just been uh, caught up with the wrong people since he's so new to the crossing and didn't know any better. Uh, he admitted that he was aware that moonshining was illegal and that what he was doing was illegal. He was aware of it. Normally with something like that, just because moonshining is so much, I don't go bothering with the fleeing and looting and the, you know, providing a false name, especially because he was fairly honest with us and he did stop <laughs> once he realised we were very serious. Um, but, you know, that's up to the individual lawmen, of course. Honestly, he but, uh, lasted longer than I thought he would before he decided to just book it. I think he realized, you know, he was running late. Mm-hmm. Oh, it was, it was pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs> I've never lived in Europe. I've been there when I was little. I spent two weeks in London. I remember seeing the Beefeaters Castle and Big Ben. That is all I remember. Oh, I remember the airplane ride because there was an old man and I couldn't sit next to my mom and my brother. I had to sit across the the aisle and I sat next to this old man and he had the window seat and I asked if I could look out the window and he said no. <laughs> so I couldn't be with my mom and brother and I couldn't be at the How window seat. How much light seat. are you uh, staying on tonight? Uh, what time is it? I think it's around 12.30 in the morning. Oh, this is like halfway through my night. Alright, I plan on staying uh, on for a while. I, I, I don't know how long I'm actually planning on being around but I can't depends on how long you can be your eyes open. Uh, I mean, it depends on if stuff's happening. If I'm bored out of my mind, I might as well try and get some sleep. Makes sense. I'm gonna go right up through here.
It does not look like anybody's home anywhere. Nope, oh, seems pretty quiet. Which begs the question, where is everyone? Yeah, that is the most disconcerting question. No, I've never been to Alaska. I would love to be Alaska, to, to go to Alaska. I've flown over it, man, that was cool. I flew over, I uh, flew up the coast of Canada, over Alaska, over the Kamchatka Peninsula, down over, uh, down, down, like over, uh, South Korea, over Japan, and, uh, finally landed in Hong Kong. That was the coolest flight I've ever taken. I may take a couple minutes and think about some coffee. All right. Do you want to send a tip saying we made it to Rhodes? Oi. Okay. All right, I'll meet you at the office. My famous cousin that was in Alaska. <laughs> yeah, Washington's gorgeous. It's just a, <laughs> a horrible cost of living, horrible policies. Classically trained pianist and psychologist. Interesting. to go through these old reports anything that has to do with valentine I'm trying to see if i can get at least some kind of name to go with these descriptions i have for these people you have checked the whale ones yeah they don't match hmm. what about the um there's a pair of brothers the litchfield brothers or the lancaster brothers i kind of remember I haven't seen too much. Or may they call themselves the Lone Star Brothers because they're from Texas. They don't sound like they're from Texas. I, but I'm just saying they were from Texas, but they've got, you know, those sort of, uh, I, I don't know. Not everyone sounds like they're from the place they say they're from, eh? Well, I don't know. Everybody seems to sound like Slaughter now. What do you mean? <laughs> Everyone does not say in English. What are you talking about? He's from Texas. He sounds English. He's from Texas. All right. Like I said, not everyone sounds like the place they say they're from. What's my point exactly? I'm sound so smug about that. I, I'm genuinely lost. <laughs> said Lone Star. I Lone Star Brothers. Try looking for those. I'm not sure if it'd be Windward or Tay. But also Lancaster Brothers or Litchfield Brothers. I can't even remember which. Just look for Litchfield or Lancaster. It's been a while since they were arrested though. Like a month, maybe? Yeah. Uh... Lone Star Robbed and James Kelly? 
My aunt and I can maybe. Uh, that, that's the only thing for this. The incident arrest, Lone Star robbed in Valentine. After a failed bank robbery in Valentine by Bo, James Kelly robbed someone and then immediately turned himself in and gave everything back. No, that's too far back. Try... Lancaster. I'm gonna go to the bank. Okay. a lot of money now. Hey, Seth. Oi, wait. Um, can we uh, talk for a few? Aye, of course I can. Uh, give okay. me a moment, I can clock off. Yeah. Claymore. I'm gonna clock off for a few minutes. I do the research on this. So. Did you hear me? You said you're doing research? Yeah, I'm still trying to do the research. Alright, I'm just I'm gonna be off duty for a, a wee bit here. Okay. Wait. Mm. Um. I've been doing some thinking. Hi. I rode off yesterday, um, I just needed some time to think of things, just think about things. Okay, I figured. So I gave you room to do it. Yeah, I heard that you, um, came back with blood on you. Who'd you hear that from? I went out hunting, Boyd. I went out and shot things. I didn't expect anything other, but I'm just making sure you're okay. I'm fine. <laughs> um... I've realized, um... After spending some time thinking that. I 
have treated you so wrong. Um, Is it played I'm not trying to bring judgment on you or anything like that? I was just trying to understand what's going on. Why won't she look at me? Um. I'm sorry. Sad boy, I'm not looking for apologies and stuff. I'm just trying to figure out what's going on. You asked me yesterday if I just told you that I loved you as a form of glue to I'm, hold I'm things together. I'm no. sorry if that was hurtful. I that's not how no. No. It's not that, it's... I think you, um... I don't think you were wrong. But that's not why I said it. I, um, I said it because that's, that's what I wanted to f feel. And I was trying to convince myself. yourself you could have just said that you did but you didn't have to leave me on I want, I, I want I want to But that's not the choice you're making, is it? That's what you come to tell me. That's what I've discovered with all this. How it was before. It was all about choice. How I felt. And I've realized that this is something that I can't control. And it's not something that I choose. And that's why when I said that that was a choice, that wasn't... You mean you don't want to avoid? No, that's not what I'm saying. I don't believe it for a second. You don't believe You're a what? Human. You're a human. You are in control of your emotions. You can't help who you love. No, you certainly can You think I've chosen not to? So you're telling me that you don't? So I need to know, Boyd. <laughs> what changed?
changed. What do you what do you mean? Yum yeah. <sighs> Sorry. Who's more than just friends is what you're saying? <laughs> is that what you're saying, boy? I don't know what I feel. I'm asking you a question and you're avoiding answering it, Boyd. Please don't insult my intelligence. Just answer the question. How long? Awake. That's, that's, that's why you stopped answering the telegram. That's why no. you haven't spoken to me. No. Well, then, then what is it, Void? If it's no, then what is it? You just, you just decided that. I'm a coward. And that's the honest truth. You're telling me that.
Because of everything that you... You told me. And the Great Plains, was it... Was it true, Boyd? Or was it just... A ploy to make another conquest? Conquest? Another conquest, I... No. No. It was never about that. I made that clear. Because he had sort of... Drop me after you got the badge. No, don't touch when, me. <laughs> when did I ever try to conquest you? Hmm? I'm just when did I sick. ever put that pressure on you? You got your badge, didn't you? My badge? You think that's what this is about? No, I don't think that's all it's about, Boyd, but you got to look at it from my perspective. Clearly, I'd be hurt. You just asked me. If I was trying to make another conquest. That's a valid question, Boyd. And I'm and I'm asking you a valid question. When did I ever put any pressure on you for that? You started to and then you backed off once. I started to when? You asked me on Strawberry that one time. That's it. I said... I said you could put a wall up. I, I know, Boyd. I'm just... I had no intention of doing All that. Alright, Boyd. I believe you. It's not what it was about. At all. It wasn't about that or the badge. I told you that day I wanted to try to be a better man. I wasn't trying to do anything with you. <laughs> I'm... I'm not... I'm not a good man. But I never tried to conquer you. I wanted to try. And I failed. That's what I'm saying, Boyd. It sounds like stuff didn't really change. I just hope that <laughs> that you don't get done with dusk and do the same thing. <laughs> you can keep that.
JV Maximus, thank you so much for the gifted subs. Thank you everyone for tuning in. Yeah, I was muted. I just unmuted. We will be raiding somebody. See who. Let's raid Connor. Yeah, guys, thank you so much for the support. Thank you for the subs. Send you guys off. <laughs> 